Hi everyone, Eileen Turk here with KOCT and On the Scene with Eileen. Tonight we're at beautiful Miracosta College, where once we would hold the Relay for Life every spring, now we're holding a Luminaria drive through event. And I'm going to be interviewing two great volunteers shortly who will tell you how they got involved in this great fundraiser to raise money for cancer research. Can you tell us a little bit how you got involved with the Relay? My father died of lung cancer in 1978. My son was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 1988, and I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma in 1998. So we've been doing it ever since. My son survived. He's uh, now an astrophysicist, and he's usually with me every year at the event. He couldn't make it this year, but I expect to have him back next year. My very first relay was probably back in 2004. My husband had passed away in 2001, and it was from colon cancer, and I was just kind of looking for a way to do something to remember him, and I got invited out on a friend's team. And we came in the evening, and we walked around this track right here at Miracosta, which was lined with luminaria bags. And it was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. I love everything about Relay, but there's something special about just walking at night and looking at the stories on the bags because every bag is somebody's cancer journey. Anybody that wants to come and help out or join, make donations, you go to relayforlife.org slash OceansideCA. Thanks for tuning in to KOCT. I look forward to seeing you real soon.